This orange chicken is delicious and packed with flavor, and it will have you thinking that it's takeout. Let's make some. We're going to start by getting all your ingredients together. For this recipe, I am using chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are juicier and they're going to add more flavor than using chicken breasts, but feel free to use chicken breasts if you like. I am cutting these in pretty large pieces, approximately two inches, because the bigger the pieces, the better the chicken. I am going to season these simply with salt and pepper. And we're going to allow these to get room temperature before we fry them up. While these are resting, let's get started on the rice. I am going to beat my eggs before adding them to the wok. I am first going to add a little oil. After the oil, I'm going to add the eggs. And before the eggs start to cook, I am going to add my day old rice. It's important that you use rice that you cooked the day before to make sure that it doesn't get mushy. Now I am going to incorporate the eggs and the rice together. You want to make sure that the eggs are totally covering your rice. Then you're going to add some onion and you just want to saute this for a couple of minutes. After you add your onion, you want to season with a little sugar and the chicken bouillon powder. This is going to add that flavor and that saltiness. Next, you're going to add a little soy sauce. The soy sauce is going to add a beautiful color. We're also going to add chopped green onions, and we are going to saute this further until everything is all incorporated. Now, my personal touch is I like to add sprouts because they're my favorite. I am adding some bean sprouts to this, and I'm adding them at the end because I don't want them to get too soft. I'm going to saute this for approximately two to three more minutes and the rice is done. I'm going to set it aside. Let's get started on this sauce. To this pot, I am adding the orange juice, sugar, and a little chicken powder. I am also adding the oyster sauce. I'm going to eyeball this and the hoisin sauce. And we're also going to add a little soy sauce as well. I'm eyeballing, but you can measure it out. I've also added some paprika and that's going to give it a nice beautiful color. Now it's time to make the slurry and the slurry is cornstarch mixed with the rice wine vinegar. I'm going to mix this in together and we're going to pour this into the sauce and this is going to thicken the sauce up. You want to pour this in when the sauce is nice and hot and then you'll see that your sauce will start to thicken. Once it's the consistency of a glaze, you want to remove it from the heat. Now let's get started on this chicken. In this bowl, I have a combination of all-purpose flour and cornstarch. What we're going to do first is we just want to lightly dredge the chicken with this mixture. This is going to ensure that our chicken stays nice and crispy. After we've dredged it in the flour mixture, we are going to add water to this mixture and you want to get the consistency of like a pancake batter. Once this batter is done, we're going to take our chicken and we're going to dip it in this batter. This is what's going to give it that nice crispy texture of orange chicken that we all love. After it's dipped in a batter, it's time to fry these. You're going to fry these at a nice hot temperature until they come out nice golden brown. You don't want to put too many in your pot at one time because it's going to bring the temperature of the oil down. Once your chicken is nice and gold in color, it's time to remove. And I'm going to drain these on a wire rack. Y'all already know that I was going to try one. It's important to taste your food so you will know if you have to adjust your seasonings or your cook, but these came out perfect. Now it's time to work on our broccoli. I love making broccoli this way. We're going to add just a little soy sauce. We're gonna add some ginger and some salt, and we're gonna add a little bit of oil, and we're gonna put these in the oven on broil on low, and we're gonna broil these for about five to 10 minutes. 
It's finally time to put everything together. We're going to go back to our wok. We're going to add a little bit of oil, make sure it's all covered, and let's get this chicken started. So we're going to add some onions to this pot. We're also going to add our chopped up ginger. I mean, we want to saute this for approximately two to three minutes. We want your ginger we want the onions to be nice and soft and it smells amazing already after you saute that for about five minutes it's time to add your garlic we're going to add the rest of those scallions that we cut up and now it's time to add that beautiful brown chicken that we worked so hard on and to this chicken we're going to add that luscious sauce Yes, it smells amazing. You only want to stir fry this long enough for all pieces of chicken to be covered in that beautiful sauce. So I'm going to say approximately five minutes max. After you saute this for about five minutes, it's time to put this whole dish together. And I think my broccoli is just about done and it is perfect. All right, let's plate this up. We're going to start with that yummy rice that we made. It smells delicious already. We're going to load our plate up because we work so hard. It's time to treat ourselves. Make sure your plate is all loaded. Now it's time to add that gorgeous chicken. I'm going to put nice big chunks on here. I'm going to load it up as well. And then we also want to go in and get some of that sauce. Make sure we pour that all over. I know that is sexy right there. And then we are going to come in with the broccoli. And we're just going to, you know, put it where it makes sense. I love broccoli, so I'm going to load this up with broccoli. Let me get one more. Put it right there. Okay, we are great. And there we go. Bon appetit. Let's eat.